Hey guys, what's up? It's Bobby with Gilk Sports Cards. Hope you are having a fantastic day. Just wanted to do a quick video with some pretty interesting hobby news going on right now. Number one, be careful buying base Prism Victor Wembenyama cards on eBay. There is some fakes out there. They're mostly from China. So if there's a price out there or a deal that looks maybe too good to be true, just don't do it, guys, because it's probably a fake. But the majority of them are still in China. So if you have a seller or if you see a seller that's selling just base Prism Victor cards, it's probably a good idea to pass. Uh, a few cards actually, the rumor is, did get to PSA and they were actually graded. PSA didn't catch it. Uh, but now they are they have caught on. There's a a bit of a issue or a difference in the jersey where it says Spurs. That's how you can kind of notice it. It's a little more blurry, I guess. But regardless, just be careful with the Prism Victor Wembenyanya base cards. So uh, the, this, the news that I have for you that I think is even more or that is very exciting is that Topps is dropping a Topps Chrome basketball product. And then also a new football product, I believe it's called Motif, M-O-T-I-F. But this will be unlicensed, guys. So I wanted to get your thoughts on that. As you can see here, as you know, Panini uh, has unlicensed baseball products. And they're nice. They're, they have a lot of good players that are autographing and the cards look good. But because it's unlicensed, the hobby doesn't love it very much and they don't sell for very much. There's not great resale. So will you guys buy a brand new, I'm not sure if it's going to be hobby only or come to retail. My guess is both. But will you buy an unlicensed basketball and football product from Tops? That's the question. The, the cool and exciting news about it that's going to definitely bring some buzz is the Fanatics exclusive uh, signers will have autographs in that product. So Victor Wembenyama and LeBron James will have autographs in the Topps Chrome product, and CJ Stroud and others will have their autographs in the uh, the new football motif product. So that is going to give, that's going to build a ton of hype. But will the singles, will they, will they do well compared to like a Prism or Don Ross Optic uh, base card or rookie card, which has the uniform on it? So that is the question. So will you buy... Topps Chrome or uh, Topps Motive Football, uh, even though it's unlicensed. Uh, the, the rumor is it's going to come late summer is when those products will launch. So uh, pretty excited to see how that turns out. Uh, I definitely will try a little bit. I'm not sure if they'll do hobby boxes only or retail. Again, I would guess they would do both, but I guess you never know. Because it's the first time, you know, the first product, I think it's going to be pretty hyped up and, and do pretty well, especially if somehow they do all, uh, allow the chance for autographs and retail product, then it's definitely going to go nuts just trying to chase those huge, those huge signers. So that's it, guys. That's the news today. And please leave a comment uh, when these products launch, even though they are unlicensed, will you give them a try and rip them open? And do you think that the prices of those rookie cards will hang in there with this, you know, like the Prism and Don Ross Optics of the world. That's it for today, guys. Have a great day, and we'll see you on a video tomorrow. Peace.